you get a mug. Yeah. It's Everybody knows tale that. Tale as old as time. We are so excited. Our producer Catherine ordered them, and we just love them. Our cute little logo and everything. Spoiler alert, I don't have anything in mind right now. I, well, I do. He does. Daddy's got to drink his medicine. Yes, Daddy doesn't feel good. Yes, I can't wait <laughs> to put something in mind. Um, we're excited about these new cups because our original... Um, yeah, show them that. ...cups yeah. didn't get... Could we get a zoom in on this? We one were, of our cameras. Uh, this was our original cup. Mm -hmm. It didn't. There was do another well. show that we had to cross out. That After was, they that announced was during... that we were getting the show, we were so excited, and someone had <laughs> live with Kelly and Ryan had just that, delivered us this cup, and so I took the liberty of making it our first cup. That was the hard times, cup. yeah, when we had to steal to get by. We but love not Kelly anymore. and Ryan. They're Look the at us now. Look at us now. We big time in. Yeah. We had to pay twenty dollars a cup. Lee and I both. Just kidding. We didn't. Anyway, we are so pumped. Maybe one day. Well, no, I don't want to say that. I was going to say maybe one day we could get cups and have contests for our viewers to get cups. Because you, you can purchase an LEX 18 mug Look at that here at the station. Look how beautiful that is. We just need <laughs> a cocktail a in there. <laughs> Come on, if you had a cup with your name on it's it, you'd be jazzed, too. It's the little things that make people happy, it isn't it? It is. It is. So we'll see. Maybe you can get a Live with Lee and Haley mug one day. We'll see. You ready to do some hot topics? Let's do some hot topics today. Roll it. Here we go. Hot, hot topics. This first one, I swear, it's one of those, and we have these periodically where you're like, nobody what? thought this was a bad nobody. idea. Nobody. Nobody thought, maybe not. An Anne Frank Halloween costume has been pulled from store shelves following a number of complaints. Shocker. It was being sold on HalloweenCostumes.com. Here it is. Pictures on the site show a little girl wearing the costume. Mm -hmm. Twitter blew up, as you can imagine, with criticism. Mm -hmm. Anne Frank, of course, known around the world for the diary she wrote while hiding from Nazis during World War II. Right. Now, you know, I'm one who has always championed uh, the cause to fight political correctness. Yes, yes. But not when a child has died. There is nothing funny about that. There's no entertainment value to be had with this. What in the world are you doing? I, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. The only way I can understand if there's a costume, and I think one of the guys behind the site was trying to say the reason they did this is for a play or something, a no, historical no, piece. No, no, this you're was, Halloween costumes. Trying to make money off of this. You're selling it as a Halloween costume. It's I can't see any way in which this isn't so offensive. It's just ridiculous. You know, there's a uh, clique that I hang with of comics, and we have very dark, cynical mm -hmm. humor. Yes, I can imagine. But we keep that to ourselves. Yeah. We don't try to sell that. We don't. I mean, there's a few idiots that would, but for the most right. part, we understand in the civilian world, yeah. that doesn't go. And you, Why would you do, what are you, a nut? Honestly, you're a nut. And if you're with us a lot, you know Lee and I are constantly laughing at people that are offended about the latest whatever. But I'm offended by that. We get it this time. Yeah, we're actually yeah. on board with this one. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you've offended our sensibilities. That's how far do you know how low you're off you've the gone? reservation. <laughs> yeah, to offend me, and especially Lee. Yeah. Okay? Well, speaking of being yeah. offended, here we go. Sexual harassment in Hollywood has been the topic of conversation ever since that Harvey Weinstein scandal broke earlier this month. Lots of stars now coming out, sharing their stories, and speaking out against it. It appears the um, late Carrie Fisher, there she is, the beautiful Princess Leia, wasn't putting up with it. And in one instance, and we love this. I love this. This is why I'm a big fan of Carrie Fisher. She took matters into her own, own hands because one of her friends says that uh, Carrie once hand-delivered a cow's tongue wrapped in a Tiffany box to a predatory Hollywood producer, worked for Sony. Yes. The unnamed executive allegedly forced himself on her friend. Well, when Princess Leia hears about it, two weeks later, she took the Tiffany box over to the Sony headquarters studios with a cow tongue and a note that said, quote, if you ever touch my darling Heather or any other woman again, the next delivery will be something of yours in a much smaller box, end quote. Yes, honey. I'm living for this story. Go, Carrie. Go. She was great. She was great. This she is so cool. She had a wicked cool. sense of humor. Yes, she did. And, um, you know, you're going to miss her. Yeah. But we don't know who the executive is involved in this, but they did say this person is an Oscar winner, whoever yeah. this executive is. up High up at I Sony would imagine that did this. folks know who she's talking about in that community. Yes. Oh, yeah. Without but that's question. empowerment, and, and that's courage and, and not being afraid to face your enemies like that. And stick it up for your friend. Yeah. No greater love. Doesn't Yes, it doesn't matter what level you're on. This is unacceptable. Sexual harassment of any kind is unacceptable. And it's heartbreaking to hear all these stars coming out now and sharing their personal stories. Mm -hmm. So a report today, Reese Witherspoon recounted an event when she was 16. America Ferreira said she was sexually harassed at nine years old <laughs> in Hollywood. It's Jeez. just disgusting. And so these moves by stars like Carrie and other people speaking out, it's awesome. Yeah.
Go, girl, go. I love it so much. All righty, we have a hilarious photo to show you today. Move over, the Kardashian family. We are keeping up with the librarians. A group of librarians in New Zealand have gone viral after staging a photo shoot to mark the 10th anniversary of keeping up with the Kardashians. The picture mimics a cover that the Kardashian-Jenner family did, this one right oh, yeah. here, on The Hollywood Reporter. The books that librarians are sitting on are old dictionaries from the library's archive. I love this so much. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> they I, I are like, so funny. I like the parody. And I, I never, for the life of me, and I still don't get the Kardashians. I, I, I never know. understood the popularity. I mean, is it, we, somebody needs to explain it to me. Are you just watching a train wreck every day? Is that why sort the, of. What the to appeal me, is? Yeah, to me, and it's also, it's just another world. Like, you're watching in on this world, these people that are so wealthy and so beautiful and so just like... Mm -hmm ridiculous the things that they do you're like what yeah so I've been watching it from the beginning so you're watching it for laughs to make yourself feel better about your it, life not so much that I find it very relaxing for me any type of reality show it's kind of like that disconnect time like mm -hmm. relaxation time I don't watch it and want to model my life after them but I, that's why I watch it and I feel like a lot of people watch it it's it is, is a little it bit the of a same train wreck. thing uh, for you being a female right. as to why me and my guys would watch jackass Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think so. I think so. So I've unlocked it. I've bridged the gap between men and women. The Kardashians is the equivalent of jackass. I've heard that in so many wedding vows. You're jackass and you're Courtney. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Hey, every year the uh, Texas State Fair puts out some very interesting eats. This year, a new beer concoction they've created has people's attention. It's, it's married beer and Oreos. What? Uh, it's called the American Milk Stout. It comes with an Oreo cookie floating on top. The cup is rimmed with an Oreo cream filling and chocolate Oreo bits. I, you know, I, I'm not a big beer fan, but the last thing I want to do is add something like that to it. And again, you know how I don't like debris. <laughs> no, Lee doesn't like any around. floaters. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so I would try this if you're at the Texas State Fair, and I mean, it's one of the places that you can get crazy stuff. You expect to see things like this, so I, just I don't would try imagine. it. You would? I don't imagine how that could be good. You at could all. chase it with just some regular beer. Beer is going to ruin the Oreo cookie. Aww. Yeah, then, then, then yeah, oh, you're going to chase it with milk. Yeah, then I'll chase it with milk. Ooh. So then when you throw up, it really goes far. Yeah. It's going to be good. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, nobody likes that. Whatever. Anyway, those are today's hot topics. Hot topic. Okie dokie.